Uh, hello, YouTube. Welcome back. Um, we're going to continue on with our investigation as soon as I figure out how to control the game again. We got paid $210 and $301 for a waking up and drinking coffee. It's the most important meal of the day. Ah, that's debatable. Oh, never mind. You didn't watch watch Five Nights at Freddy's with us, did you? No. The FNAF movie for uh, the Zoomer audience. Yeah. <laughs> Yatra made me feel so old. <laughs> Police car. He's like, yeah, I went to go see the FNAF movie with my friends, and I was like, what the fuck are friends? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my chest. Uh, don't be late. So we should have King George to thank for preparing a car King for me. George. A pleasant surprise, eh, Zach? Let's take it for a spin. Okay, this might be where I need to turn down the... Uh... I have to tell you, Zach, this place simply amazes me. The keys were left on the front hood, and nobody stole the car. Values. This town has what the country needs. Values. Mm. Let's head over to the sheriff's department. Oh, never mind. I'm having flashbacks to, what did we play, Left Alive. Okay, steer, A, D, reverse, brake. Why is W not go? No, W is accelerate. Headlights. Side brake? Left control, boost? There's a boost button. Wipers on, page up. <laughs> Wipers on, page down, signal. Left or right? <laughs> okay, um, I think this is where it gets annoying. Got the master key. Very nice. Got a flare. No? Meshi, was there a POV button? Uh, yes, there should have been. What was it? I, I didn't catch it in that long list, but I know there. I'm I know you can. driving and I can't. Look it up! <laughs> Quick! <laughs> I can't slow down! <laughs> Permission, uh, third person, uh, view, uh, uh well, press Y. Wait, no, uh, on the control, no! you press Y. Uh, oh, C. Oh, thank God. You went to Reddit again, didn't you? No, oh! I, went, I went on the Steam forums. Oh, I was trying to make fun of you going to Reddit for things. Oh. I'm sure it's a wonderful resource. Oh. <gasps> Gasp. All right, we've almost made it to the sheriff's office. We made it. That's one fine building for such a small town. The exterior woodwork is spectacular. Don't you agree, Zach? True. Turkey sandwich. Why is it purple? Ducky Jones. <sighs> uh, uh, oh, my God. 
dodge. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you, Agent Morgan. We've been expecting you. I'm Thomas McLean, the sheriff's assistant. Thomas. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please just call me York. It's what everyone else calls me. Very well then, Agent Agent York. I believe I owe you a thank you for retrieving my belongings from my car. Thanks. Oh, no, no, just doing my job. I just, well, I want to help do everything I can to help the investigation. I just can't believe Anna was murdered. Anna? She was such a bright and lovely girl. Did you know her well? Well, no, not really. But it's a very small town. I'm sorry. It's just that this is the first really big case I've ever seen. I understand. Just try to relax. Can I have a look at Anna's file now? Y yes, of course. The sheriff told me to let you through to the meeting room, but I've lost the key to the cabinet where the files are. Why don't you take a look around while I go look for it? Okay, let me know when things are ready. Zach, Thomas appears to be the kind and sensitive type, totally at odds with the monarch. Almost a good setting for a cartoon. Why was he like kicking up like water or dust or whatever when he was running? That's how messy this place is. Is that what it is? Yeah. I don't think I was supposed to go down here. I'm trying to follow that red arrow. Oh, the shooting range. We got a striped squirrel keys. Okay. Interesting. Ten millimeter auto bullets. Interesting. Now, did our uh, no our? Uh, I think you're right, Meshi. I think the durability thing is a thing. Uh, do I need to go in there yet? Who the hell are you? <laughs> this person probably has nothing to do with the investigation. <laughs> <laughs> Does you a warden? He doesn't seem like it. Oh, there's Agent Honor in there. Can I like? I can just walk in in and out of cells. Okay. Oh, we got another squirrel key. Why is this bed? Against the wall, hiding the back. Is there a back door to the cell? What is that? <clears throat> Good sleep. Okay. Oh, there's someone in there. I was about to say, maybe I shouldn't, um, can I observe what's going on there? Okay. Did I check this wall? Oh, that's just a sleep icon. It's another person. Okay. I think we've gotten everything there. Nothing. I feel like there's going to be something uh, eventually. F 
fire exit. Oh, Emily. Where, wait, where the, oh, there she is. I was like, where the hell does she go? <laughs> Hi. Hello there, Emily. You perhaps showed me around the office before the meeting starts. Sorry, Agent York. My hand's full. Could you ask Thomas? I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea at all. Why, what's going on? He loves keys and cabinet and files. How did that take too long? Hmm. I see. So, something tells me. Um, let's see. Did you find the key? I didn't know I was looking for the key. Uh, okay, let's try the, the striped squirrel keys. You found the key. I hope this is the right one. Ah, uh, you found a Siberian chipmunk this time, have you? Sorry, wrong key. A Siberian chipmunk? This species lives in northern Japan on the island of Hokkaido. They're actually quite a popular pet. So it isn't even a squirrel. But we're looking for a southern flying squirrel right now. Okay, maybe it was the second one that I... Any keys? Oh, yeah, it's this, this one. You found the key. Maybe. That's the right one. Yes, a southern oh. flying squirrel. Thank you so much. I'll bring the files right in, so please go to the meeting room. <laughs> okay, I'll be waiting for you. Well, Zach, we just got here, and we've cracked a big case already. Oh, that might look suspicious, like I knew what I was doing. I completely fell ass backwards into that. I thought I was going to look for Anna another Graham, key. <laughs> age 18, she just recently graduated from high school this year. Her dream was to move out to the city and become a model. But for the time being, she was working in the A&G diner here in town. She lived with her mother, Sally. Anna's father died in an accident in the lumber mill when she was a child. Her mother is unemployed and lives on the insurance money from her husband's accident. Mmm. Suspicious. <laughs> After all, it's a small town with a low cost of living. Financially, they seem to get by fine, and they led normal lives. A normal life is exactly what a curious teenager doesn't want. It's all starting to make sense, Zach. Is it? <laughs> Is it? <laughs> City folk, huh? No. No, I take that back. All of them can't be as bad as him. And some should have better manners. Huh. This is a good biscuit. I've never tasted a biscuit this delicious. Where in town can I get these? Well, Damn good actually... Biscuit. I... Well... I... I baked them myself. <laughs> mm, that's amazing. What are you doing in law enforcement? <laughs> They're very particular about biscuits, I'll have you know. The balance of milk and butter you've achieved here. Oh, my. Agent Morgan, the autopsy's ready. You are welcome to accompany me to the Greenvale General Hospital. Emily, you come too. Thomas, stay here and tidy up these files. Y yes, sir. We're going to use the car outside. Let's get going. You might think this is just a small-town police investigation, but our inspections are thorough and solid. I'm hoping you won't slow us down. Oh, Have you tried wow. these fucking biscuits? Why there's a hole in the middle of it? <laughs> so airy and light. <laughs> Looks heavy, feels light. <laughs> oh, we cleared another 
section of the game and we got paid two hundred twenty dollars and eighty four unpaid salary we're stacking up money left and right country ham mush mushy <laughs> meshy what is country ham what's the difference it's like ham but you put a little accent on it <laughs> <laughs> Fried up in that there pan, like <laughs> I like the way you squeal, ham. <laughs> Wee! Why would you reference that movie? Come on, get in the car. If I'm riding in a car, I only know that part of the movie. I have no idea what else is in that movie. Talking about? Do you know what you state know that movie takes place in? Which is well, another probably good if I had to guess. Louisiana? Way around town. I think it's Arkansas. <laughs> oh, man. Very well. Then I'll ride with you. I want to keep an eye on you. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, this might be Just one thing, Agent Morgan. Your involvement huh? in this case is limited. That means you don't have to learn your way around town. Don't have to learn George, way you better get moving. Town. The hospital closes at 2100. A movie called Deliverance, which was made in 1972. We need to get to the hospital. Burt Reynolds report. was in it. Burt Reynolds was in that movie? Interesting. Yeah. Head towards the hospital. We want this cave solved as quickly as possible. Okay. Um, does it... Do I get to pick what car we take? Alright, I'm gonna get in. I think this is gonna scream at me, so we'll need to adjust things accordingly. Agent Morgan, get us there quickly, but drive within the speed limit. Uh, because you have a badge, northeastern Georgia. George, oh, thank goodness. What are you, okay. his mother? <laughs> we just need to get the autopsy results. Agent York isn't accustomed to the town yet. Give him a little slack. Mm. Mm. Well then, Agent York, let's get going. Sure. Sounds good. So, my question is, Meshi, yeah. why are they having me drive? Um, because you know your way around this town. <laughs> Get us to the hospital, and quickly, but within the speed limit. Okay, Meshi, why isn't the car screeching at me this time? You took the emergency brake off. Is that what happened last time? I have no idea. Because remember, it was like yelling at me. Yeah. Agent Morgan, I can't help noticing Wee -woo. you prefer to work alone. Wee -woo. Most of the time, yes. Don't you get lonely? Flying all over the country alone? I must say, I've never felt lonely. Are you married? Unfortunately, relationships and I are fleeting strangers. <gasps> I don't get on very well with women. Oh, how I'd be surprised to hear. That's because you're young. You notice things like that at my age. You I'm like 42, thank you. Like a thin crystal oh. wine glass. If you don't, they can cut scars on your face, just like yours, right? Like George, is this an interrogation? I see you're a seasoned professional. Uh, but let's not talk about my scar. It was caused by a problematic woman. Well, she got you good. I don't know how I got these scars. And nobody will notice it in a week. Why did I get Agent Honor for it's breaking that barricade? You get Agent Honor for random things. So, Emily, tell me. Is there really a need for a full-time sheriff in a small town like this? I'm sure it is small to your city eyes, but any gathering of people leads to all your kinds of problems. Your city eyes? Fights, runaways, stray pets. You're too fixated on violent crimes. Our job is to guide the people along the correct path, first and foremost. Now that's what I consider to be my duty as the sheriff of Greenvale. Zach, there he is. Yeah. The monarch in all his glory. Kind it of takes me so long to pick up speed. Here. Did you say something, Agent Morgan? No, nothing, George. Hmm? Oh. Zach, we'll finish I need... our chat later. Let's take a walk around here. Yeah. I need to... F I needed to... I, I haven't been... I didn't go back. If you're wandering off, then we'll go on ahead. No, we no, no. We don't no. have time to mess around. 
Okay, I'll meet up with you later. Agent no. York, the hospital closes at 2100. Please make it inside before then. Meshy. I just wanted to find out what the dog bone was about. Oh. Is it evidence? A human bone? This doesn't look related to the case, but shouldn't I let someone know? Why is there a dog over here? Can I interact with them? So they just left. Okay. Yeah, they fucked off. I thought they were going to take the car and you're going to be stranded in the middle that's of what, fucking... <laughs> That's what I got scared of, and I kind of wanted to hear the rest of that conversation. And But I got excited about the bone. I thought I was going to get a dog. No, 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 no. no. Nothing that exciting be... happens. Oh. Alright, let's see if I can... About those bonus features in DVDs nowadays. You know, the ones mm -hmm. from the 80s have almost no bonus material. True. Even if they do, it's a trailer and the visual quality is pretty bad. Well, that visual quality is a good reminder of those days. So many new uh -huh. audio and visual appliances were coming out back then. Do you remember the first video deck we bought? We bought it to record one of the Star Wars movies on TV. And remember when that Ooh. video store opened, we spent hours there. Just trying to find a good movie to rent. There weren't that many to choose from back then. I remember renting some really bad ones after reading those back cover taglines. Hey, remember? Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Sound like a movie we'd watch, Machine. Well, yeah, but add to the <laughs> list. It was directed, written, and edited <laughs> by John DiBello. It was really awful. John DiBello. For some reason, I still remember it pretty well. Mm -hmm. It had so many sequels, and the original was re-released in 95. The 87-minute long theatrical release bumped up to a whopping 90 minutes. Ooh. But that was around the time I joined the Bureau. I never have a chance to see it. I know, Zach. Once this case is over, we can watch it together. I bet we can buy a copy on the internet pretty easily. Okay, I thought I didn't know if it was over or not. <laughs> Agent Morgan. Have you no respect for rules and protocol? We were waiting for you, and now you try to go in by yourself. Oh, George. I didn't see you in the parking lot, so I thought I'd wait inside. Just watch it from now on. Mm-hmm. Wow, well, you got real sassy. I don't like inconsiderate people who think that they're above the rules. And I'm sure I've made this point clear by now. Calm down, George. He probably just got lost on his way here and rushed in. Right, Agent York? Let's go inside, then. <laughs> That's not at all what happened. I'm just an asshole. <laughs> the potato will satisfy a small amount of your hunger. Hello, Sheriff. Frankly, <laughs> Fiona. Bless her. Hi there, Fiona. We're here to see Usha. Do you know where he is? Usha. I think Dr. John. Usha. Is in the computer a computer room. In a hospital. <laughs> nice to meet you, Mr. FBI agent. The computer room is where our employees share a computer. Very nice to meet you too. I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. But how did you know I was FBI? <laughs> Easy. None of the police in this town wear cologne. Besides, that scar in your face is the biggest rumor in town. Rumors get exaggerated as they spread, even in the countryside. What's that you're reading, if I may ask? You haven't heard of this yet? It's a recent bestseller mystery. It's set in the U.S., a small traditional North American town close to the Canadian border. A peaceful, traditional place. However, that peaceful town is shattered by a terrible crime. The murder of a mm. local girl. And that incident causes grief and sadness to everyone in town. 
but everyone feels the seditious, heinous, evil still lurking, alive. Yes, much like the situation right now here in Greenvale. Fiona, don't say that. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't have said that. With Anna dead and all... Don't worry. Books are written to entertain, and it's good you're enjoying it. What we're faced with here is a terrible crime committed in a real world. Much different from that of a novel. So there's no need to apologize. Thank you, Agent York. Dr. Usha Johnson. It should be in the computer room. Okay. Why? What's going on? Okay, where where's the computer room? Oh, I guess it's that way. We couldn't find him. Fiona needs to check her information. No, I don't think so. Does the doctor like playing games by any chance? What do you mean? There's a message on the computer. And a card key already set in place. The mm. king passes the rook and meets okay. the bishop. The knight takes a pawn along for the queen. What does that all mean? It's a simple puzzle. Zach, let's take him up on his challenge. You can do this, right? Meshi, can we do this? No. Oh, yeah. Now that the instructions are at the bottom, yes, we can. Okay, so what do I do? What was this trying to... King passes, rook, and meets bishop, knight. Do we put them in the order that they're mentioned? Well, let's figure out what happens when you move the king first, and then... King, rook, and then bishop, knight, pawn, queen, right? There you go. Checkmate. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. The doctor awaits below with the deceased. Another code? But there's nowhere to insert a password. Oh more God, games. You dumb bitch. I'm going to get Fiona to call <laughs> Usha up here right now. In the morgue, you... No need, George. The message appeared with the card key. It's telling us where to use it. This is not the time to be joking around, Agent Morgan. Dr. Usha is below with the deceased. With Anna. Below being underground, I take it. Simple. Simple. Dun, 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 dun. Then it's time to meet the mischievous architect of this little game. Nah. I was so used to like the Resident Evil games and the puzzles I've been I thought way too hard about it. <laughs> What's it trying to tell me to do? That's oh, fair. Mister. Anything from you, George? You need it in his autopsy reports. And you're saying yes. Why wouldn't he be in the morgue? How do they solve any crime well I guess they really haven't had any big crimes, have they? Yeah. Go this way. Yo, he hit that door running. Does Fiona have anything else to say? Not yet. I'm enjoying a little battle of wits for the right. Battle of wits. I I'm having the most fun. What are you two doing? Let's see, observe. Work together, figure, okay. So I feel like there's gonna be Agent Honor just tucked away anywhere. What are you doing here? Well, just case I figure, okay. Maybe they'll stay on task. I apologize. I get swept up in the case. And everything that doesn't have to do with the case. <laughs> it's my favorite part of Twin Peaks. <laughs> it's the case. <laughs> everything except the case. Oh, <laughs> well, that's right. <laughs> Thank you for picking up that one too, Meshi. <laughs> what? Ooh, Agent Honor. <laughs> Where, Where am I? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you people? <laughs> what are you 
doing in my house? <laughs> I think we made it. Just want to see, is there anything on this table? Ooh, I could push that along. Interesting. Uh, perfect. Let me in. Hold on, what do we have here? We have a save point. Let's go ahead and save. That lollipop was $24. Butter tasting crack will cover a little bit of hunger. Hmm. Interesting. Why is everything so expensive? Ooh, agent honor. Perfect. Asha, sorry to keep you waiting. Ah, you made it. Let's get started, shall we? Usher Johnson. This is Agent Morgan from the FBI. Hmm, nice to meet you. I'm Usher Johnson, the doctor in this hospital. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please call me York. Everyone calls me that. Like George Very well. Arthur Agent Fish. York. I don't. <laughs> Are you a forensic practitioner? <laughs> Let's just say I've dealt with corpses before. That battle of wits, by the way. Did you create that yourself? Mm-hmm. I just wanted to see if our Hates FBI it. agent could handle the task. <laughs> I see. Well, it was pretty fun. Oh, I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> we don't have much time. We need those autopsy results. The sound effect. Next time. Try challenging us without obstructing an investigation. You've angered the monarch. The mighty monarch! <laughs> <laughs> I love how York talked to us like he mortis, knows the, the commentary on George the and that he made up in his own mind. Between 20 and 2200 hours. <laughs> That's still quite early for such a crime to take place. Note that there are two exterior wounds, pressure marks around the neck, and a long cut running from chest to abdomen. Blood marks on her right hand tell us she was gripping something round in her right hand. Her skull is also fractured, but that is unrelated to the cause of death. It probably happened unrelated. to her after she was killed. Post-mortem, Meshi. Post-mortem. Now, I first thought death by suffocation due to the marks on her neck. But after further investigation, I now have a different conclusion. The direct cause of death was loss of blood from the wound. You don't say... Which Same means she was gutted. cut up while she was still alive. Oof. That's and then brutal. strangled and yes, then bonked uh, on the back shot of the head after she was dead. It was Strange. inserted beneath the Ooh. sternum and then quickly sliced downwards. Mm. The excessive loss of blood from her internal organs is what actually killed her. Her mm. nails are clean and with no skin cells from the attacker. She also doesn't no letters under the fingernails, nor badly beaten. Mm -hmm. She was apparently killed without resistance. <gasps> the most 
tragic thing, Give it to me, baby. However, but, but, no defensive but, but, but. was that she was unable to speak her story to anyone who could hear her cries. The perpetrator cut out Anna's tongue. Well, I believe she was drugged first Damn. to phase her consciousness, and then the killer killed her. Now, the killer most likely has a deep, traumatized past concerning women. He probably cannot converse with them normally. Cutting out the tongue suggests a very lonely individual. Either that mm. or a truly hardcore sadist. Hmm. He must get off on watching women suffer, especially when they can't answer back. Now, he watched as the blood pumped from her body, as she gradually grew cold. Now, a case in Seattle in 1985 was much like... Usher, please, limit your report to your findings as a doctor. Criminal profiling is my job. Quiet, you, you. can <laughs> take my jam. <laughs> You're wrong, also. Oh, Anna oh. died fully, deeply, painfully aware of what was happening to her. But, uh... How does he know that? Tell me, what that time good? did it stop raining on the night Anna was killed? Hmm. Uh, just before I went to bed. Right after the movie on TV ended, so... Around 1 a.m.? What movie was it? An American Werewolf in London. Uh, directed by John Landis, 1981. <laughs> so the rain stopped, accompanied by the ending song, Blue Moon. George, would you mind if I examined Anna myself? I do. What more do you hope to find? I'm sure I mentioned that I have a personal interest in cases like these. All right. Okay, I'm supposed to look for something. Fingers. Oh, what's that on her palm? Uh, an impression she's holding on something. No, that was the thing that Usher talked about. Uh, look around her eyes. She's wearing fake fingernails. Okay. Hands by lying on the table. What am I missing? Oh, I was just supposed to, I guess, look at everything over again. From her lack of resistance, I'd say that Anna's injuries happened very quickly. Unable to speak, she was then left to cry herself to death. Zach, it's all starting to come together. The perpetrator stayed with her for at least two hours until it stopped raining. At the estimated time of her death, it was still raining, but you can still see tear marks on her cheeks. That means she was killed under a roof somewhere. Mm. She was then carried into the woods after it stopped raining. Hmm. <clears throat> there, there's one other thing. Her tongue was removed with a very blunt knife. In fact, it's more likely it was simply chopped off. Asha, are you a passionate man? Well, not particularly, I'm a, but I am man enough should the moment call for it. George, how about you? <laughs> I'm very passionate, yes. Especially when it comes to women. But I don't see what that has to do with anything. George, the perpetrator is just like you. He's passionate about women. Hmm. He's a passionate kisser. This was a kiss of death. <gasps> Ooh. Ah, the perpetrator bit off Anna's tongue. Ooh. Oh. We'll never get a dental print from a wound like this. But this is still a big lead. Ooh, what are 
make that noise? Oh, Pod Zack. It's a shame, but our old time all American sightseeing tour just came to an end. This case is now under the jurisdiction of the FBI. I'm assuming command. I'll need you to assist me in the investigation. What in the hell do you mean, Agent Morgan? I know I said I was passionate, but you can't think I did this. That's not why I'm assuming command, George. You're a suspect just as much as every other passionate man on Earth. Let me show you something. <gasps> the same! Look at them! Red seeds! Mm. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Why does... <laughs> he keeps is... pulling them out. <laughs> why does he take evidence wherever he goes? That doesn't seem legal. <laughs> there you go. Amazing, huh? I'm, a I'm sure you have a lot of questions, but most of the details are top secret. What's that behind your ear, Usher? <laughs> More seeds! <laughs> Emily, we should be going. No need to stay here. Actually, anymore. it's a ticket for your parking okay. violation outside. I have to sign the release. <laughs> Just give me a moment. Very well. I'll go on ahead. I can't take it any longer down here. <laughs> Bishop takes queen, his rook takes your queen, then your knight takes rook, and checkmate. Huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why does the, I should feel like he just got out? Oh, did he just? My first victory in the Grandmaster ranking. Oh, he's just that good, Meshi. That yeah. good. What he doesn't know is he didn't even see that screen. He was just rumbling bullshit. <laughs> he just bullshit. set off random pieces. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a chess-playing man yourself? No. Uh, no. Do you know how to play chess? Yes, I know how to play chess. Okay. I'm not good at chess, but I know how to play it. I was just curious. I'm no judgment. Why do you keep attacking way. me about my chess? If you're a checkers here. man, it's fine. <laughs> Checkers are too complicated. I'm more of a Rochambeau kind of person. <laughs> simple rules, uh, simple games. <laughs> can't lose. All right, I guess we'll save. I need to get to that gun store to get more ammo. So I guess I can't go there. I got to get the hell out of here. I'm being, it looks like I'm being led. Um. Oh! <gasps> Meshi. Press. What movie is that from? With the red dress? Woman in a red dress. Walk with... Walk and fire. Walk... Walk, fire, fire, no, walk Meshi, with me. the Matrix. You noticed her, right? The woman in the red dress. Yeah, I saw her. I don't remember a woman in a red no, dress. No, that's Mouse talking to Neo about the woman in the red. Never mind. Why am I quoting things to you? <laughs> Why? Why did you suddenly go from Twin Peaks references out the yin yang to fucking the Matrix? Because I, he's I referencing movie. Up. York is talking about movies, so I brought up the Matrix. Motherfucker, that happened like 15 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I shot her ass off. <laughs> that one's gonna need a BBL. <laughs> How long has it been since you've seen The Matrix? Oh, oof. It's been quite a while, actually. I wonder if it holds up. Oh, she's shadow stepping at me. I'm sure the action holds up. I don't know. There's, well, yeah, there's a lot of it. I did see the clip of Trinity shooting that agent in the head when she's like, dodge this. That still goes hard. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so cool. I didn't like the newest Matrix movie, though. Uh, uh, nobody was... did. I think that was the point. Yeah. <laughs> it was such a movie about not wanting to make the Matrix again. <laughs> yeah. 
Though I will give it to, I think Neil Patrick Harris, uh, I did like his performance in, um... Anyways, I digress. <laughs> I need a new gun. Kill. What could it mean? What is the purpose of these being here? There's nothing to like jump over. Am I thinking too hard about this? <laughs> Possibly. Bathroom, we need to check one of the stall doors, Meshi. <laughs> Is it about the bunny? <laughs> it's not about the bunny. Is it about the bunny? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought there was something like look in the mirror or anything. Or am I, I thinking of... I would have lost my fucking mind if it um, was actually about the goddamn bunnies. <laughs> Yo. I'm running out of ammo quickly. I guess I'll switch to melee. <gasps> Steel Pipu. Coming in hot. Back! Back, you denizens of the... Two for one special, baby. <laughs> we take those. Um, Doesn't look like I can go that way. Is my pipe almost... Is it done? Looks like it is. Alright, let's get out of here. Time to scram. A vamanos. Ah, oh, crap. We're still here. Did you hear that laughing, Meshi? Yeah. Where's it coming from? Oh, <gasps> something spawned. Will this still do damage since the durability looks gone? Let's see. Come a little closer, sweetheart. Bam! Oh, <laughs> it's <was> bent. <laughs> Why do I have ammo again? <gasps> oh, there's a fat one and he's jiggling. You have infinite ammo with that gun. Oh, do I? Yeah. Am I an idiot? Yes. I am. I just needed to reload. That was the whole point. <laughs> yeah, you just needed to reload. <laughs> oh, so I don't need to be worried about running and gunning anymore, do I? Okay. No. I thought, uh... Oh, she's sh shadow stepping at me. Oh, left... Or right click is auto-aim. I see. Headshot reward. Perfect. Um... Is this an exit as well? Or is this something else on the ground? Oh, can I not open this? Locked. Oh, I need a key to open it. I've actually got myself turned around now. Uh... So hear me out. Uh, this doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I don't think I can get by there. I think that's the point. Maybe? Yeah. I guess I'll try to go out of this way. I'm too fixated on looking for uh, secret clues and whatnot. Ooh, coffee. Black. Coffee. <laughs> Excuse me. Damn, good <laughs> coffee. <laughs> look underneath. Uh, of course I'm going to look underneath. Ah! Yes. 
card for uh, central building. Okay, so I'm guessing that's where we're. Uh oh. Amazing. Bullseye. Amazing. Amazing. You're saying amazing? Yeah. Because I'm getting headshots, but the mobs like put their head where the auto aim uh, centers, which is on their ass. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Rushing, how long do we have till um, the Silent Hill 2 remake comes out? I could find it for you. The first hint that he's picked up the whole playthrough. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I can find it for you. <laughs> um, the release date of March 21st, 2024 has been given. Ah, uh, so we have a whole year till then. Or next year, not a year till then. Um, okay, plenty of time to play through the OG. <laughs> um... This is like a death hallway. No, I just need to go through this door. Oh my god, there's so much here! Okay, we need to save. This is about to be a big, uh, I think, combat zone. A suitcase. Oh, where are we going? Meshy suit with a red jacket sometimes is good to change. Uh, there's a problem. We're doing the workaholic, keeping with the agent, or are we going crimson? Are we going Meshy? No, not crimson. Change it up a bit. Yeah, alright. Is there a cleaning um, option? No. It must be just be for the clothes. Extra trendy clothes. Very nice. Is there a weapon in here? Okay, there's nothing in there. I thought they might give me like a new gun or something. A thousand apologies for, uh, oh, can I rest? Mission knife? We'll take a, we'll take a new mission knife. Not that I'll need to melee anything. Yeah, considering I have people. infinite ammo. Ooh, this is a $24 lollipop. God damn. Those vending machines are out of uh, ooh, medium This inflation kit. is driving me insane. Oh, <gasps> look at the clock, Meshi. Oh. Because we're in the... What do you want to dub this red viney world? Uh, Her monthlies. I didn't want to barf every time we're going to mention this now. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, York, we've entered her monthly. <laughs> <laughs> Am I going the right way? Oh yeah, some of these enemies, I think, have guns at a certain point. You want to die? Oh no. It's messing with the auto aim. Hold on. Ooh, there's a lot of blood coming from that. Oh, is there another one? <gasps> What's that? Oh, no, I can't pick it up because I didn't... Inventory management. A thousand apologies. He only has so many pockets in there. A lesser FBI agent would have been... Wait, is this going to break the more I push it? Yeah. What if there's something inside? Should I push it all the way? I don't think there is. Oh, yeah, there's not. Sorry. I was beginning to dream. 
you start to dream quick in his existence. <laughs> The heel hmm. snaps and she just collapses on the floor. <laughs> here! Over here! Oh, never mind. <laughs> Don't worry, the heel hips on the way! <laughs> she, wait, she beckoned us on. Oh! Oh, she almost command grabbed me. No, oh, no. Agent Honor by the handful. Oh, wonderful. Ooh, the music's really kicking in. There it is. The ambience. The ambulance. Oh! Picking up a lot of speed. Is there anything in those boxes? Can I shoot them? I can't aim down far enough. Why can I not aim low enough? Okay. That's very strange. Let's try that again. They seem. <gasps> oh! 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 What's oh, happening? So discolored. Oh! Oh that, my that god. Hurt my eyes. That hurt. Yeah, that was awful. I'll never do that again. Oh no, it's happening again. <laughs> oh no. There is stuff in boxes. I don't know if I'm of the patience to actually uh, do that, though. You definitely don't. <laughs> what if I'm missing out, Meshi? That's the problem. On what? What could you be what possibly could be the... missing out on? <laughs> What's in the box? <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, do I not have a key for this one? Okay. So remember where this is, Meshi, because I'm already getting lost. Uh, so you're going to take a left and then another left down this hallway. Actually, when you turn around, it's going to be a right and then a right down that hallway. <laughs> Actually, no, you're going to take a right and then a left. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> <laughs> My head! <laughs> I got it that time. Listen to that part. <laughs> Kim! Clip it. <laughs> What's he trying to tell me? All right, so what's going on here? Uh, observe. Okay, and so the machine looks like some shiny in the back. Okay, so we need to turn on the machine to get the shiny thing in the back. I'm having vague memories of something going terribly wrong, and that's why there's a save here. All right, well, I guess we'll activate it. <laughs> Look how he's playing on the left side of the keyboard with both hands. <laughs> so that wasn't so bad. So far. Oh, do you know what it was? I think I ran around this area looking for what to do, and I literally just had to interact with the keyboard. That sounds like something I would do. Yeah, I believe it. <laughs> just drudging up more trauma. All right, so we're going to go left and then right. Oh, you're really good at giving directions. Are you like a professional like passenger princess? Is that like yeah, one of your MO? I'm, an, I'm a jackass savant, some might say. <laughs> oh, this this looks terrible. Okay. <gasps> oh no, it's all coming back. Never mind. The game used to crash here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, he's got a shotgun too. Oh shit. Okay, 
we're, we're gonna have to move it. Okay, so I need to... Oh, can I... I think... I think there's some tech, if I remember correctly. Because this was our first... Um... Huh? Huh? <laughs> I thought that was you for a second. <laughs> No, 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 no. See how he covers his eyes when you point the flashlight at him? Okay. Interesting tech. Um, uh, gonna medium. Don't want to die. Look how they're shielding their eyes from the light, Meshi. Hmm, yes, yes, yes. Shallow and pedantic. Because mm. guess what? Shotgun shells, perfect. We're um, we're almost through, everybody. Don't worry, we're making it. We're beginning to believe. Oh, I think we did it. Now this is the moment of truth. Uh, I don't know if this hot fix is actually going to work for us. Um, what dropped? What was what was the you did it moment? Oh, oh, <sighs> the epiphany. Please make it through. I don't want to have to. Agent Morgan, if you're so desperate, then why not smoke two at once? It... All right, listen uh, here, you. You quite you. <laughs> I need my fix. Daddy needs his fix. Oh. <gasps> the wheelchair guy. Where, where? But what could he mean? Who's that old Who man? The... Who is this guy in the show? That's Harry. Harry Stewart. One of the bigger problems around here. Is this like I guess the Benjamin lumber the lumber trade and founded this town. Oh god. Gotcha. Cuz he owns most of it. And he but he's a weird one, as I'm sure you can see. Always dressed like that, never speaking to the town. But Ben doesn't own the just lumber FYI. Lumber. So I don't think there's a one to one equivalent for him. Mm, makes sense. Not that that makes any difference. So long as I'm around, he won't be getting away with any funny business. You tell him, George. You tell him. You're not getting away with nothing. Mysterious capitalist. <laughs> Harry Stewart. The mask. Mr. Francis York Morgan, haste won't lead you to what you seek. Hmm. Keep your eyes focused on your footing as we speak. So says Mr. Stewart. You can't hear me, hear it. Nice to meet you, too. How did you know my name? Mr. Francis York Morgan, information desires you, just as you desire information too. So says Mr. Stewart. Harry, stop trying to get in our way. Keep this up, and even you'll have to answer to the law. Mr. Francis York Morgan, with each rain, our town goes mad. To our disdain, unpreventable. So sad. So says Mr. Stewart. Thanks for the warning. Then we shall depart, Mr. Francis York Morgan. Every rain. Mad. Hmm. So says Mr. Stewart. That's how he always is. 
Always spouting that nonsense. We just do it, Don't please. We just do it. It's all gibberish. Don't give it any thought. It's Emily here. It's the clue, though. Uh-huh. And we have to decipher it. Oh. Okay, thank you, Thomas. Agent York, we've contacted the first witnesses to the crime scene. You can interview them where they found the dead body. Excellent. Look at my face. I Look was just about to ask care. if you could take me there. <laughs> oh, please tell me this works. Oh, I'm so worried it's going to crash. Autopsy report? Okay, I think, I think we're good. Let's see it through to the end, though. Before we cut... Say it complete. Well, if you're still watching on YouTube, uh, my Twitch link is down below. Uh, comment and like and the fun stuff. And we'll see you in the next part, hopefully. Damn good biscuit. <laughs>